I've been asked to uh, say a few words about uh, myself and uh, what I do. And, uh, uh, I guess I'll start out by saying uh, I've been painting now here for just about 30 years professionally. Uh, I live in an area east of Calgary. Uh, it's a small hamlet of uh, Jam. And uh, you know why I paint what I paint, I'd have to say uh, I think it's probably uh, influenced by uh, probably three different areas basically. Uh, I would suggest that they're uh, number one, I mean I've always had an interest in the, in the figure so uh, the majority of my work uh, has figures in it. Uh, secondly, uh, this, this area that my environment that I live in, uh, it's primarily an uh, agricultural area, um, which interests me and uh, so the people and, and the, the backgrounds that, that I utilize in my work, uh, you know, all come from this area. So, uh, I'm, because I'm attached to it, I mean, I live here and uh, uh, I have a love for it on, on some level. Uh, thirdly, I'd say that uh, I feel a connection to the past through my own uh, family history, I, uh, uh, in, in the sense that uh, my ancestors uh, came to this country when it, when it was relatively new, uh, back in the 1880s, and uh, took up uh, farms and ranches, uh, primarily ranching, and uh, you know had to withstand a lot of uh, hardships, of course, at that time. I mean, it's nothing like it is today. And uh, they had to have a, a kind of a different mindset than what we're we're used to. In that, uh, you know, they had they had themselves solely to rely on. I, I guess I have an admiration, you know, for those qualities and, and, and what they what they did to uh, to uh, survive and open up uh, this country. I guess I'm trying to put a little bit of, of that in in my work uh, because I feel it's. It, some of those attributes are, are, are becoming lost uh, uh, in today's society. As an example of uh, what I've been referring to is, uh, is this uh, most recently uh, completed painting here I have here in the, in the studio. Um, obviously a, you know, a farmer standing in a, in a grain field. Uh, I think to demonstrate some of the elements that uh, relate to earlier times are the, uh, the geese, for example. Uh, they don't only provide uh, a sense of movement and uh, you know, act as a design element. I think they have that, uh, they give some feeling of that relationship to the past. Uh, and the uh, act uh, itself, that the, that the uh, farmer is uh, shelling out some uh, grain in his hand, uh, an uh, age-old uh, Process to de determine when the uh, crop is uh, ready, ready to harvest, and yet uh, the the figure is uh, obviously present day. I mean, he has a baseball cap on, and, uh, modern clothing. Uh, he has a cell phone in his in his pop shirt pocket, uh, and uh, a wristwatch, uh, which I actually intentionally added. And that, that again, uh, another reason uh, that I've incorporated that is uh, to give that sense of time. I mean. The, the time of day here is late in the day as well, which, which I felt also adds to that. But uh, between the two of them, uh, it, it gives that uh, uh, feeling because time is, is of the essence in, the, in this situation. When, uh, when a crop needs to be harvested, it needs to be harvested. And, uh, uh, you know, that's something that uh, all farmers have, uh, have uh, had to de deal with through time. I, there, if, if you take a good close look at, uh, at any particular painting, uh, I think you'll find a whole other world of, of brush strokes and colors and, and uh, uh, texture uh, that's created just by the, the, the medium itself that uh, I personally find quite exciting. Finally, my, my work is categorized as high realism and in a sense I'm, uh, I'm using that realism to uh, reflect my goal, which is to uh, to uh, engage the imagination and draw the viewer into the story.